Spanish wine has soared in popularity, but have you tried wines from the Ribera and Rueda regions? We came to this part of northern Spain to check out these wines you should be drinking. On the northern plateau of Castilla y Leon lies two areas along the Duero River where wine has been made for thousands of years, despite a climate unusual in the winemaking world. The high altitude can mean temperature swings of 30 degrees in a day, and when combined with low rainfall, you get grapes that have a low yield but a concentrated flavor. They have a very special microclimate. They have a particular soil, uh, which is alluvial. The ripeness of the polyphenol material we can find at the grape is totally different than the other regions. And for that reason, the expression of the Ribera de Duero wines is too much. <laughs> that microclimate has succeeded in nurturing two particular grapes. The Ribera region produces almost entirely wines from Tempranillo and Rueda almost exclusively Verdejo. What you're left with are bright, acidic wines that can stand the test of time. This continental climate with these soils give you, apport you a lot of fresh air, apport you a lot of structure. What you can obtain is wine, for, in our case, that can be aged uh, in a greater rush for, for 50, 60, 70 years, and only in this greater rush you can do it. That's come from generations of winemakers sticking to the varietals that they know succeed in the soil. Angel Rodriguez Vidal forges the path that he once watched his grandfather follow on land that he believes brings the best out of Verdejo. Bueno, en principio por la la calidad del terreno. Eso es el principio. Que tenga canto, que estén en suelos de canto. Luego en la cantidad que tengas y en el agua que le eches. It's a style that's protected. Each region has a regulatory council to ensure only so much wine is made and that each bottle passes a quality assurance process before getting the seal of the appellation. It makes for wines that are as reliable as they are unique.